The media is getting it wrong about the Orlando shootings. But it's not just because they're sloppy, we know that to be true. It's not just because they hate guns, we also know that to be true. But it's because they hate conservatives. Now, my friend and rebel colleague Andrew Lawton has a really great video explaining just how badly the media is misreporting the Orlando shootings. By now, we should all know the gun that was used was not an AR-15, as the media is still breathlessly reporting, but rather a Sig Sauer MCX carbine. It's a different gun, and it used different rounds. But both guns are black, so according to the media, they've both been handcrafted in a slave labor factory owned by the devil himself to shoot rounds made of rendered puppy flesh at your grandmother, or something like that. Now, like most of us, I'd like to search for reasons why. I wanted a reason why the left-wing media in Canada would continue to push out this lie about an AR-15 being used nearly two full days after we just know it to be untrue. Well, I didn't have to look very hard or very far. The CBC and the rest of the liberal media can't attack a conservative member of parliament with the truth. So now they're running with a lie instead. Let me explain a little bit. Conservative MP for Prince George, Peace River, Northern Rockies, Bob Zimmer, presented a petition in support of reclassifying the Canadian version of the AR-15 to non-restricted status. 25,000 Canadians have signed this petition, including myself, because this rifle, and that's really all the AR-15 is, is currently classified as restricted. Canadian owners who want to lawfully enjoy their AR-15 right now have to go to the gun range to fire it. Now, anyone who understands even a little bit about guns knows that this is really stupid. The AR-15 fires a very common 223 round, the same as these two rifles, the Ruger Mini-14 and the Thompson Center Arms Venture Predator. The Canadian version of the AR-15 can only fire five separate rounds at a time, the maximum for any semi-automatic rifle in Canada. Moving it to non-restricted status only makes sense, since it is no more deadly than any other varmint control rifle firing Remington 223 rounds. Brian Lilly has a really great interview you should all see with Tony Bernardo of the Canadian Shooting Sports Association about the wrongful reclassification of the AR-15. Anyways, that's the backstory. But the Canadian mainstream media are never ones to let a good tragedy go to waste without attacking a conservative. Just look at these headlines. This one from the Georgia Strait, a BC left-leaning newspaper, and it's a flat-out lie. BC MP sponsored petition for easier access to the AR-15 assault rifle used in the Orlando attack. Except none of that is true. The AR-15 wasn't used in the Orlando shooting, and reclassification really doesn't make the AR-15 easier to access. It just means you don't only have to shoot the gun you already own at the gun range. Then there is this one from the CBC. Orlando shootings prompts questions about Tory MP's support for AR-15 rifle e-petition. Except why should CBC be raising any questions at all? The AR wasn't used in the Orlando shooting. The CBC even ran to Liz May who said this about the AR-15. People who are legitimately hunting use a rifle, skill, and aim. People don't go <laughs> into the woods loaded with AR-15s hoping to blow wildlife to bits. They're hunting. They're not murderously slaughtering. Now remember, the 223 rounds the AR uses are commonly used in other rifles for predator and varmint control, like shooting pest coyotes in Alberta. In fact, you can't use a rifle that uses 223 rounds for large game hunting in Alberta because it isn't powerful enough. Liz May thinks Bob Zimmer wants you all to dress like Rambo and run around in the bushes screaming get some while haphazardly shooting your rifle from your hip. She and the CBC want everyone to believe Bob Zimmer stands shoulder to shoulder with bloodthirsty lunatics rather than with the lawful people we know Canadian AR-15 owners to be. Liz May is no expert on guns or hunting regulations. I mean, honestly, she can't even read the label on her cold medicine. But using a tragedy and lies to smear a conservative isn't new for the mainstream media. Do you remember? They blamed conservative immigration minister Chris Alexander for the drowning death of little Alan Kurdi on a beach in Turkey, even though his family had never applied to come to Canada. That smear and that lie ruined Alexander's career. The mainstream media is now trying to do the same thing to Bob Zimmer. When it comes to the mainstream media, 
They'll never let the facts get in the way of destroying a conservative. This isn't reporting, it's smear merchanting. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.